Nikita Homestead with Jess. As some of you know, I am doing the Three Rivers Pantry Challenge. And basically what that is, is no spin for January and February. We're shopping out of the pantry. And that's what we're using for the month of January and February. There is one exception. Well, I guess a couple of exceptions that I am going to follow. I will only spend money on greens like my salad greens my spinach and my kale as I'm not producing those things right now and also milk products cheese and heavy cream things like that so let's go over to my pantry and get to shopping all right we're grocery shopping in the pantry I am looking for some tomato soup I am getting a week's worth of ingredients so I'll have this week's Ingredients ready to go and cook. Let's see what else I need. So we got tomato soup. I need some pizza sauce. Pimentos. We need some pimento peppers. So we're going to swing over here and we'll grab a jar of pimento peppers. And then I'm going to go in the closet real quick and I am going to get the squash. You want the flashlight? No, it's okay. dinner we're going to do pimento cheese sandwiches and tomato soup so we're going to ease in to this challenge today is the second day of the challenge I missed the first day which is all right but we're going to do the second day and go from there no stress no worries so some people that have already been here have seen this recipe but I'm going to go ahead and do uh, keto bread. I am keto, and for the ones that haven't been here, my husband is not. He does eat some keto food, but not all. So I'm going to do a keto bread first. And the reason we're starting this out first, it takes an hour. So we'll get that started, and while we're doing the keto bread, then we can work on other stuff. So first off is two cups of almond flour. Yes, I have to write down all my recipes. There's no way I would be able to remember all the things I There's no way I can remember all the recipes I've used and created. And so one 
teaspoon of anthem gum. We're going to do one, a half teaspoon of salt. I'm using the pink Himalayan salt. You can use whatever salt you would like. So a half teaspoon. We're going to do one tablespoon of yeast into my water. Did I say teaspoon? What is it? Where's my yeast? One tablespoon, I'm sorry. One tablespoon of yeast into a half a cup of warm water. We'll let that Make sure if you have a bulk amount of yeast on hand, you're keeping it in the refrigerator or freezer to make sure that it will last a long time. We'll set that aside. Then we need a teaspoon of stevia. jumps me know that somehow the yeast eats this honey and deactivates any sugar that's in it. I don't know the science behind it, but that's what they say. So that's what we're going to do. to get my eggs out we'll put also or I'll wait let me get my eggs now I have changed this recipe just a little bit in the original recipe if you go back and look at the video I created <clears throat> there were four eggs added to this recipe. I've cut it down to two. All right, so I've got the bread in the bread machine. It's going. So in the, in the time that I was throwing the bread in, I went ahead and cleaned up my mess as a new cook or even as a veteran cook. Just make sure a really good tip is to clean as you go. It makes life so much easier. So as soon as you're done using your utensils, get them washed up and get them drying or put them in a dishwasher. So next step is I've got some sharp cheddar and I'm going to grate up a half cup. that's okay you can use red bell pepper as well always make sure you hear that pop smell it make sure it smells good we got fermented peppers we're gonna just mix our cheese in there it's super simple This is not a pimento cheese spread that we're making. We're actually making pimento pepper grilled cheeses. So that's pretty well mixed up. We'll set that to the side. And then we have a tomato soup, home canned tomato soup. 
same thing. I don't know if anybody else does that, but I put a butter knife here and then I use my can opener and it just helps prevent the lid from getting bent. I heard it pop, smell it, smells yummy. I'm going to go ahead and put this on the stove. After I do that, I'll just lightly spread it. Alright, well we got that step done, we're going to go ahead and throw it in the oven. I've got the oven preheating for 375. I'm going to throw this in the oven and I'm going to let it go for 35 to 40 minutes. shut the oven off and I let it cool down here in the oven. So I'm going to pull this out. I'm going to pull this. See how easy that was? Pull it out of there. I'm going to put this bread pan to the side. Alright, I have my skillet on the stove heating up. It rises much as I thought it would, but that's all right. It'll still be good. So I don't think I'm gonna put any bread, I'm not gonna put any butter on my bread, but I'm gonna go ahead and put this on the skillet and put some pimento cheese on it and get it frying up. Yeah, this bread didn't rise at all for me this time. I don't know what I did wrong, but that's all right. It's still edible. My skillet is nice and hot. You hear that sizzle? Awesome. All right, my other slice. I'll let that get all nice and cheesy melted. And then... And then we'll go ahead and get my husband Barrett's done. 
I'm just going to do regular white bread. Down to the nitty gritty here. All right. Now we'll go ahead and spread some butter on his. This should only take a couple of minutes. I think my butter is still a little bit cold, but that's all right. And then we'll go ahead and put his pimento cheese on. I put it on the wrong one. Oh, well, there we go. All right, I can't find my spatula right now. I don't know where it's at. I'll go ahead and flip mine. Woo! It's nice and toasty. turn that down just a little bit more so it'll continue to simmer but if anybody wants more they can still have it warm All right, this is completion of day one for me. All right, so we're on day three of the pantry challenge, and tonight I'm doing chicken wings. So I'm just going to put some seasoning salt on them. And I'm going to do avocado oil. the wings on each side for about eight minutes. Thank you. 
head over to the air fryer, pop these in, and I will be right back. All right, and now for our vegetable tonight, I have a pot of water with a steamer. We'll put that on, and then we're going to have artichoke, steamed artichoke. So I'll get that going, get that steamed. We're going to check our artichoke, see if it's done. And the way to check the artichoke is to pull down on the leaf a little bit. And if it comes off easily, then you know it's done. And it has came done, so I'm going to go ahead and put this on the plate. Our chicken is finished. I did end up having to cook the chicken for 12 minutes on each side instead of the nine. They were a little bit bigger than I expected, but I've plated up the chicken wings, the artichoke. I put some mayonnaise on the plate because that's the way we like to eat it. And then for our sauce, we like to use the G Hughes' sugar-free barbecue sauce. Love this stuff. If you haven't tried it, check it out. And I'll put some of this on the plate. And then also we have a kale smoothie each. Again, this is day three and this is what we're having for dinner. So I will see you tomorrow night. All right, we're on day four and today we are going to make some low carb keto lasagna. I've had this sitting on the shelf in the pantry for a while now. This is the Palmini Hearts of Palm lasagna. So we're gonna try this out. I've never made this recipe before low carb. So we are going to try that. I'm going to go ahead and get the cheese sauce ready. And while I'm doing that, Jaslyn is going to go ahead and throw the hamburger in a skillet and get that frying up. So to my cheese sauce, I'm going to put in two eggs. Parmesan cheese. That's about two tablespoons of Parmesan cheese. And I'm going to do a cup and a half of mozzarella. I'm going to do a cup of cottage cheese. Now you can use ricotta cheese if you have it on hand. I don't have it on hand, so I'm using cottage cheese. I'm going to add pepper. We'll do about a teaspoon of pepper, a half teaspoon of salt, teaspoon of parsley and then a half teaspoon of cayenne pepper that was a lot I'm gonna have to take some of that out that was way too much And then we're just going to go ahead and mix that all together. Hopefully this won't be too spicy now. I guess we'll find out. Alright, now I'm going to go ahead and set this aside and we're just waiting for that ground beef to brown up. All right, to the ground meat, I'm going to add a tablespoon of Italian seasoning. Get that mixed in. Our 
ground beef is just about done. So I'm going to go ahead and op open some tomato sauce. And I'm going to go ahead and dump that in this. Alright, and our sauce goes. simmer for just a few more minutes. I'll let it simmer about 10 minutes and then we'll be back. Our meat sauce has cooked down. It's nice and thick. So now, so now we're going to go ahead and assemble the lasagna. All right. So I'm going to go ahead and lay a layer of noodles down first. Alright, I have one layer of noodles down, so then I'm going to go ahead and put some cheese sauce or cheese spread on top, a thin layer. not sure if I already said but I have the oven preheating at 375. We're going to go ahead and top the rest off. We're going to top the top off with some parmesan and a little more mozzarella cheese. And then we are going to put a sheet of tin foil over top. We are going to stick this in the oven for 10 minutes, covered. I just took the tin foil off of the lasagna and I am going to switch the oven over to broil and I'm going to put that on high. Don't walk away when you do this. If you have a broiler in your oven, pay very close attention because it will burn very quickly. Our lasagna is done. For some reason my camera didn't come on, but it's nice and golden brown and I just pulled it out of the oven. Here is a nice close-up so you can see what it looks like. Mmm, looks delicious. Get in your hair. It's okay. It's good. It's spicy. It's a little spicy in it. It's not the noodles, it's, it's the sauce. Mm -hmm. 
It's still good though. Yeah. You like, you like, you like spicy. So stuff. it's a thumbs up for the Paul mini lasagna. Yeah. Thumbs up or on the floor. <laughs>